Hi, my name is PJ Lynch and this is my latest book, The Bee Man of Orne. It was written by an American called Frank Stockton more than a hundred years ago. It's a magical story, full of amazing characters and wonderful settings. The story begins in the ancient country of Orne, where there lived an old man who was called the Bee Man, because his whole time was spent in the company of bees. This unlikely hero goes on to have the most extraordinary adventures. For me, as an illustrator, my journey begins with this, the manuscript. I read and reread the manuscript many times and select the passages that I feel would make the best pictures. Then I draw out little thumbnail sketches of these important scenes and put them together into a plan of what I think the whole book should look like. Then I work up more detailed drawings and character studies. These are mostly drawn from imagination, but sometimes I use photos as reference. This is me posing as the junior sorcerer. There are some roles that I just can't fulfill, so my wife and our little son also help. As the process continues, the drawings become more and more detailed and more sophisticated. I try to make the settings and characters as convincing as I possibly can, to make it more believable for the reader. The drawing part of the process is very traditional, but the next part is more high-tech. The computer is very useful for sending images by email to my publishers, but I also use it a lot these days to help in the composition of my pictures. Let me show you what I mean. This is a picture of the master sorcerers that it comes near the end of the book, and I scanned my drawing into the computer and then divided it up into its separate elements putting each on a separate layer. These can be moved about just like paper cutouts, but the great thing about the computer is that they can be enlarged and reduced, or, and you can even change the shape of them. flip them over like this. This is the finished rough that I sent to the publishers. Here's another rough that I did the same way. This is the Bee Man's house as it appears at the start of the book. When I'm happy with the image I send it over to the publishers and the designers put them all together in a dummy book. This is really useful for seeing how the book is progressing. Then all I have to do is paint the pictures. 
And some of these pictures could take up to a month to complete.